Robo-ants display cooperative behavior based on a natural model, an integrated individual robotics system to solve a common task. Bionic ants work together under clear rules. They communicate with each other and coordinate both their actions and movements. Each ant makes its decisions autonomously, but in doing so is always subordinate to the common objective and thereby plays its part towards solving the task in hand. By pushing and pulling together, the artificial ants move an object across a defined area. Thanks to this intelligent division of work, they are able to efficiently transport loads that a single ant could not move. Laser-centered components are subsequently embellished with visible conductor structures in the so-called 3D MID process. The electrical circuits are attached on the surface of the components, which thereby take on design and electrical functions at the same time. In this way, all the technical components can be fitted into or on the ant's body and be exactly coordinated with each other. After being put into operation, an external control system is no longer required. It is possible, however, to monitor all the parameters wirelessly and to make a regulating intervention. Its creators say the Outrunner robot can reach speeds of up to 20 miles per hour and can run for two hours on a single charge. Outrunner is less than two feet tall, weighs about three pounds, and has three legs on either side of a central motor and processing unit. It's the creation of Robotics Unlimited, a spin-off of the Florida Institute for Human and Machine Cognition headed by research scientist Sebastian Cotton. It was designed and built in Pensacola, and it's generating a lot of buzz online, with features in Engadget, The Verge, The Daily Mail and elsewhere. The whole robotic world is really closed off right now, Cotton said. If you're not an engineer with a PhD, well, you won't be able to play with robots. I want to change that, so I started my company to commercialize robots. The robot runs by rotating both sets of legs in time so that as a foot on one side is lifted, the one on the other is planted, much like how humans and many animals run, only with three legs on each side. The Sub-1 Reloaded robot has the record for the fastest solved Rubik's Cube. The robot took just 0.637 seconds to analyze the toy and make 21 moves, so that each of the cube's sides showed a single color. The time beat a previous record of 0.887 seconds, which was achieved by an earlier version of the same machine using a different processor. In Finon, the makers of the robot staged the record attempt at the Electronica Trade Fair in Munich in 2016. At the press of a button, shutters covering the robot's camera sensors were lifted, allowing it to detect how the cube had been scrambled. It then deduced a solution and transmitted commands to six motor-controlled arms. These held the central square of each of the cube's six faces in place and spun them to solve the puzzle. All of this was achieved in a fraction of a second, and it was only afterwards that the number of moves could be counted by checking a software readout. A special speed cube designed to have less friction between its parts than the original version of the toy was used to help keep the time to a minimum. In Finon said the World Cube Association, the governing body for Rubik puzzle competitions, had approved its use. It's hard to get better at table tennis without a playing partner that can adjust to your skill level. The Forpheus Ping Pong robot can do just that. It uses two vision sensors and a motion sensor to measure the position of both its opponent and the movement of the ball 80 times per second. Using AI, it can then predict the trajectory of the ball and hit the ball back and learn about your playing characteristics over time to help you make progress. It's not available for sale to private or commercial customers just yet but instead points to a future where robots can help you get better at skills you already have instead of just doing things for you. Short for future Omron Robotics technology for exploring possibility of harmonized automation with cynic theoretics, the Forfuse is now in its seventh generation. The Forfuse is now able to self-diagnose any errors it is making against its opponent, self-adjust for accuracy, and adapt. When playing doubles, the Forfuse is able to empathize with its teammate by analyzing motions and inferred emotions in order to bring out the best situation in a team match. Salto has impressive vertical jumping agility and is able to jump from the ground onto a vertical surface and then use that surface to change its direction with a second jump. The jumping is open loop and planar, meaning that two jumps in a row was just about all that Salto could manage. The robot's inventor, Duncan Haldane, had mentioned that future work on Salto could include chaining together multiple jumps. Thanks to some mechanical fine-tuning and the clever addition of a pair of thrusters, the new Salto 1P is jumping longer, faster, and higher than ever. The original Salto was able to control its pitch through the use of a rotating inertial tail. By spinning the tail one way, the robot could pitch itself in the other direction. This worked very well, but only in one plane, which made Salto difficult to control. 
Salto 1P is, according to Haldane, essentially Salto with half of a mini quadrotor glued to it. Those two little thrusters are able to control Salto 1P's yaw and roll when they're thrusting in different directions, the robot yaws, and when they both thrust in the same direction, the robot rolls. When a team at the Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology set out to create a new sprinting robot, they didn't look at big cats. Instead, they found inspiration in a completely different kind of creature, a velociraptor. The raptor has two nimble legs and a mechanism that mimics a tail. In an experiment, it achieved an impressive speed of 46 km per hour on a treadmill. That's faster than the fastest human. The Olympic sprinter Usain Bolt, whose top speed has been estimated at 43.92 km per hour. The raptor's tail looks nothing like a velociraptor's tail, but it works like one. The tail moves rapidly to help the robot maintain its body stable while stepping over obstacles, says Zhang Wan Park, a PhD student at KAIST's Mechatronics, Systems, and Control Laboratory. A video of Raptor shows the robot progressively increasing its speed until it reaches the 46 km per hour mark. The video also shows a researcher placing obstacles on the treadmill. Thanks to its tail, Raptor doesn't trip on them. Raptor stands out for its simplicity, showing that it's possible to achieve significant speeds with an uncomplicated design. A team of researchers at the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor made a robot run like a human. The robot is Mabel and her accomplishment represents the height of agility for a two-legged machine. Mabel runs as fast as 6.8 miles per hour, and the team believes her to be the world's fastest bipedal robot with knees. The project has been led by Jesse Grizzle, professor of electrical engineering in the Department of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science at the University of Michigan. I've been studying robotic locomotion for many years, and I've never seen a machine do anything like this, he said. It was surprising even to me. Though a bit noisy, Mabel runs quite gracefully. The robot has both feet in the air for 40% of each stride, like a real runner, and her feet are lifted quite high off the ground for a robot. For example, whereas most other robots lift their feet about one-sixth of an inch off the ground, Mabel's feet are three to four inches in the air as she runs around the track. It is the highly complex and unique feedback algorithms, combined with a detailed model that support Mabel's feedback control system and make Mabel an efficient walker in terms of energy use, as well as a very agile walker and runner. The Metafly can take turns, fly fast or slow, and maneuver around just about anything. It weighs less than 10 grams, is 19 centimeters long, and has a 29 centimeters wingspan. The robot can reach top speeds of 18 kilometers per hour and has a maximum range of 100 meters. Tweaking the angle of the tail alters the robot's flight characteristics. A two-channel remote gives users the power to control Metafly even in the most compact spaces. The robot is pretty much crash-proof thanks to its elastic wings made of carbon fiber, liquid crystal polymer, and oriented polypropylene. There are also in-legs front and back bumpers to protect its body. The movement is handled by a mechanical coreless motor with an aluminum heat sink, powered by a hybrid lithium polymer battery. The Metafly can be charged either by placing it into a dock with the remote or using a separate power bank which enables charging without the controller. The power bank allows for 20 full charges before needing a reduce itself. Charge time is approx. 12 minutes which allows for 8 minutes of flying time. Tombot's mission of creating robotic animals that transform the daily lives of individuals, families, and communities facing mental health adversities is changing the world. Launched in 2017, Tombot aims to be the first robotic animal FDA medical device and safety and health monitoring platform to treat the behavioral, emotional, and psychological symptoms associated with dementia, autism, depression, anxiety, PTSD, and more. Tombot puppies have been pre-ordered for applications in hospitals, residential facilities, and private homes for people who are unable to care for a live animal. Tombot's mission of creating robotic animals that transform the daily lives of individuals, families, and communities facing mental health adversities is changing the world. Launched in 2017, Tombot aims to be the first robotic animal FDA medical device and safety and health monitoring platform to treat the behavioral, emotional, and psychological symptoms associated with dementia, autism, depression, anxiety, PTSD, and more. Tombot puppies have been pre-ordered for applications in hospitals, residential facilities, and private homes for people who are unable to care for a live animal. RoboShark is a bionic underwater robotic platform used in the ocean with high speed and low noise. Thanks to its feature of being able to track the target quickly, 
RoboShark can do missions like closing up rapidly, cruising with high mobile force. The robot takes the real shark as the prototype, with the motion being generated by the three-joint caudal fin instead of the propeller that can effectively lower the noise caused by the operation and reduce the power consumption as well. The shell is made from sound-absorbing material which makes it can be easily disguised. With the motion being generated by the caudal fin, RoboShark can travel at speed up to 10 knots. The robot is 2 meters in length and more than 60 kilograms in weight. The wind and wave-resistant rating is 4. The multi-joint design for the caudal fin can lower the noise. Accordingly, the effect on water environment is smaller. With the omnidirectional obstacle avoidance system on board, the safety of moving automatically in the water is improved. Considerable space inside the robot for carrying the add-ons. It can go with various communication protocols to suit your needs. These hyper-realistic dolphins that have been 20 years in the making could possibly soon be permanent fixtures in aquariums, ensuring that real dolphins will never have to suffer the boredom of captivity. Roger Halsberg, a former creative director for the Walt Disney Company, is helping people reimagine aquariums and their sea life with the help of an animatronic dolphin named Dell. He created the Robo Dolphin in collaboration with Edge Innovations, a San Francisco-based company that specializes in unique technology-based systems such as submersibles. The goal of this initiative is to reimagine the entertainment, educational and business potential of the marine animal industry. Roger explains, real-time animatronics are hyper-real creatures capable of delivering any experience you can imagine. The 2.0 version robotic creature, which closely resembles a real-life bottlenose dolphin, weighs about 270 kilograms and is 2, 5 meters long, so it's roughly the same size as an adolescent dolphin. Roger hopes that this will be the first of many innovations and sees a future where aquariums might be populated with robo-creatures that can either move autonomously or be partially remote-controlled to create a more engaging experience for theme park goers. His Dell prototype is so realistic it's hard to distinguish it from an actual dolphin. It is equipped with special artificial intelligence and can come up for air, dive and swim. Outro. With all these amazing robots, this video comes to the end. I hope you enjoy the video and don't forget to check out the channel. We'll be right back with a brand new video featuring some cool and awesome stuff just like that.